hopefully. I'm not gonna get a 3.30 in the morning door knock because I've spoken out against the government because one of my mates has had that happen before and that's just overreach and they will abuse every option that they have to um, stop us from making change. Good morning. Danny and I are up at a reasonable time just to beat the heat. Our goal again is to be home before lunchtime. But this morning we're on our way out. That was dust in front of us, Danny. Um, we're on our way out to drop the last of the dog baits out at some of the eastern points. And we've got a tank that is leaking. So we're gonna find out what's going on there. We suspect the pipe has been pulled out again. Um, if it's something that requires some cabling, which we didn't bring with us, uh, we can just call in Dad to drop it to us. So we uh, kitted up in case we come across any great number of camels and we're also ready to go for any kangaroos we come across. So yeah, we're just going for a drive out and we'll see what we see. Okay, so we've just gotten across the lake and we're nearly at the spot where our dog baits are to pick up and Dad phoned me up and said, you've got camels at Pack Horse. So that's going to be a short diversion for us, but it's nice and cool early in the morning. That's why we came out now. He's going to do a quick count on them and text through the number that we have and that's going to sort of determine how we're going to tackle them because well, I've got the 223 with thermal and I really want to shoot some camels with the thermal. I've also got the speed line and Danny's got the wedge tail. He's not letting anyone else have that at all. <laughs> that's that's his now. <laughs> so um, we have the update, one in the yards and that just came through then. And the number of camel is... Oh, shit, okay. Uh, we've got around 15 or 16 on the outside. Now, what we will do is we won't shoot the one inside because that's probably the lead and the others are all going to hang about. Danny, looking at that there, you reckon we come in from the north track? The airstrip track? Aye. Oh come back around that way so I'll pop up the picture so you guys understand what approach we're going to take uh, but we're going to come in from the north so when we get up towards the airstrip we will we'll kit up and I reckon that you'll just go straight on the back journey like we did back at Parsons all those months ago <laughs> So Dan will be up top, he'll have his two big mags and he, he's actually misplaced one of the the other magazines. So I'm hoping it's somewhere in the back here or potentially on the tray of the U. So yeah, we'll get up to there. We're about 15 minutes away. Danny will run with the, you got targets to the right, do you? Okay. Come on. Oh, you're joking. Yeah, you hold. I'll just flick on the thermal. You can see you're going for the sun? <laughs> yeah, it's camel, Danny. I've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got ten camels, Danny. Speed line? You sure? You reckon speed line or what about thermal? Yeah. Or wet wedgie yeah. would be quick, but I'll I'll throw some ammo in my pocket. You wanna try that off? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me I'll go up on the back and Yeah, I'll just drive forward. I'm gonna put my glasses in the glove box. Just waiting for us. <laughs> they are just waiting for us. 
They're on the run, aren't they? Yeah, but they're running. Along the way our road is? Yeah, they'll be parking the road, so... Alright, I'll pop up top. Yeah, I'm good to go. Hey camels, you want to pull up boys? Trust me. Right, drive forward Sonny. Yeah, I'll get him from here. Drive. Drive. A little bit more forwards. Yep. Drive. Last round, I'm out. <clears throat> Wedge tail.
really finish them. I'll do them with the other one. Yeah. No. Right, yeah, so just clear everything, hit the cameras and um, we'll go around and finish them off. Yep. So what you'd usually do is you pop your mag first and then and then do your action. No. Oh, yeah. Look at that, you only need one magazine, folks. Okay, so Danny and I just oh, I'll take my ears off. Uh, Danny and I just finished off that mop. I started out with a 223 with a thermal. Let me know what you reckon of that thermal work. Um, it was really good. Um, why we went for the thermal and that quick choice was because um, straight through there. Yep. It was because the thermal gave us the advantage over the sun. Because staring into the sun with our glass optic and with our digital day scope we would get a little dazzled. Now you saw a little bit of lens flare on the thermal and um, that's one of the, you know, things when you're pointing towards the sun. See that cattle pad just there? Yep. But I think it went pretty well. And um, we got them all, they're on the ground, they're dead. So we have another 20 or 30 to take on. Dad's firing the aeroplane up and he's off. Um, he's gonna provide a bit of overwatch and support for us. So we don't lose any uh, out here at Pack Horse. So we're a little warm and sweaty. We're gonna stick with the same plan that we'll get up to that northern part and then sweep around. <clears throat> so yeah, we're gonna get into the main drag. I've reloaded Danny's magazines. I've put the 223 away and I'll keep myself up with the speed line, but hopefully um, it'll be the all Danny show because he'll be up on top, I'll be driving. All right, we will see you when we're in the action again. All right, oh, have you got your top camera on? Press on the side. Yeah. Yep. And one, two. Yep, recording. Cool. All right, Danny, I'm going to reverse first. Actually, I'm going to just wheel round to the left. Coming in the south entry now. Saved near the Gigi.
You're good to go, Danny. Do I move forward? Yeah. One hard right. I'll get him. Yep. Moving! Yep. Alright, yeah, I've got eyes on where the rest of the mob is. Danny, give us a minute. Roger, we'll go for a drive in there. All good, we'll drive in. All right, Dan. Well, I think he's dead. Whack that one at 12. Yeah, do you think we go for the main road south or do you want us to push through the bush? All right, Danny, we're gonna go to the main road. So as we go through, just finish off anything who's still breathing, okay? Have you emptied any mag- yeah, finish this one. Have you emptied any magazines? Yeah, what? Yeah, right. yeah kill this little fella. I'll load it up. We're going to the road, and he'll call us in. Yep. Yeah, we're just finishing, and we'll come out nice and gentle.
whack him in the neck again, in the heart. And then just the base of the head, you've got this little black spot. Hit the black spot. Is he down? He's gone now. Oh, he's done. Yeah, see so that heart shot? Yep. Beautiful. Uh, give us your empty box. Holding. I can see him. You see him? They're coming this way. Awesome. Uh, I've got your other mag, it's in the bag. Yep. Did you fair to, fair to... Straight, they're gonna run across here? Yeah, yeah they'll run across here. Brilliant. All right, I'm gonna grab my gun. Yeah, we've got eyes on, we're just waiting for him now. Danny, I'm just gonna peel a little bit to the right. They're gonna be a little bit far off to start with. Do you want me to um, push forwards a bit or? Um, yeah, but. Alright, gonna push forwards, Danny? Yep. Safe. You got him on your left? Yep. Just wait for the plane to push him out. Which one? Let the plane push him out. There's about 30 of them there. Push him on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it. Let him come to the road. Yeah, yeah. They're coming straight to us. They're coming. Yeah, straight to us. Good, good. You got a fresh box in? Nah. Did you? Put yeah, that? yeah, yeah. This one's fully loaded. Yep. All right, Danny. Oh, fucking safety. Thanks, Zane. Right, the plane's gonna keep pushing them back onto us. Yep. So just give him a give him a break. Yep. Alright Danny, he's giving us a call, we can move in on him. You ready? Yep. Thank you. 
Want me to move? Yep. Sorry. You, you on a new box? You ready to drive? Yeah, new box. Good to drive? Feed him, Danny. Rolling! One minute move! Yeah, I'm gonna keep moving. Do you need another mag? Yep. Have you got another mag? Yeah, I got another one. All right, rolling. Alright, we'll go for this one on the right. You good, Danny? Yeah. 
up. Ah, uh, we think we've got them all. Yeah, that's what we reckon. All right, thank you very much. Um, do you want to run home and grab us some more ammo? <laughs> Uh, just give me one second. Clear, thanks. Two, four, six. Danny's got 60 rounds, I've got less than 20. Yeah, yeah, so we've got 80 odd rounds. Uh, I missed that last bit, but you're flying the points. If there's any big numbers, you'll bring us ammo. Thank you. These are all dead. Nice line there, eh? Oh, he's blinking. Oh, well, I'll finish him in a second. Maybe I'll just use a hammer, because we're not allowed to use a pistol on them. You know, that's that's much nicer, isn't it? Um, Alright, so Danny and I are going to do the non-community standard, and we're going to tidy up everything else. Um, it's going to take us a few minutes. Dad's going to fly the water points that we're about to drive to, and let us know if there's any great numbers. If there is, he'll fly us out some more ammo. So, yeah, thanks for that. We've... Um, Proven that these tyres, these Vitora Wildlife tyres, are pretty well. Don't say that now. <laughs> uh, they're going pretty well. So, nah. Um, and as you've seen, bloody heart shots stop them. All right, as we're going through, we're just confirming our numbers. We've only lost count once or twice. We're at 23, uh, and we're still on the west side of the road? Yeah, west. So, still just cruising through. Mr. 24, hey, how you doing? Ooh. That's a little bit close, Danny. That's, that's, <laughs> that's just a little bit graphic. Oh, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh, okay. We'll just stay at number 24 and then we'll drive over. <laughs> All right, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. We're at 37. 39. All right, I'm just gonna um, hop out and count. Uh, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Panels have been pushed really close to the trough. Which yards? Say again. Received boundary. Uh, tally here was five zero camels. Roger, but that's yards to push out, isn't it? Yeah, Rog. All right, we'll stick with our plan. We're on our way to Wharton's now. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so that tally there was 50. We estimated it was 22 or 23 in the thermal episode. Uh, so we are at 73 camels for this morning. It is 7.26 a.m. The forecast for today is hot and sunny with some scattered clouds. Uh, traffic on the Prenty Downs Road is expected to be light at this time of day, so feel free to pop by your favorite coffee shop and um, yeah, get a drink along the way because it's gonna be a nice, cruisy drive. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by... <laughs> bung arrows on his way. Nah, everything here looks okay. No, so today's episode is uh, certainly brought to you by the uh, Fix for Our Thermal. That was great to have a good try on camels. Like in daylight, the thermal is actually quite good. It's uh, early dawn, so, um, well, early in the day, so it's not quite hot, hot. Um, and Danny's liking the optic that he's got on the wedge tail. He's loving the wedge tail, in fact, um, the whole setup. I do have a new set of scope rings coming which are just slightly lighter and lifted up a little bit more so you don't have to be as, as crunched down. Um, so the wedge tail and the speed line are both throw your weight. The wedge tail has got a Delta Optics 1 to 10 times zoom or 1 to 10 times like by 28. Uh, it's got really good clarity. It's incredibly good. That's from Australian Sporting Agencies and I'm using the pad on the speed line, which the zoom is just a little bit far in, but I'm getting used to it. Just iron sightsing a little bit there. Um, and yeah, the, the support that we get from everyone is really good. It's just a pity that it's not recognized here in our state, the need for effectively more firepower. We've got a straggler. Fifty one, yeah, I'll get him with a thermal. Got that boot time. Yeah, okay, we might uh, just hot foot to Desert Pine then to make most of today's uh, daylight pumping. Yeah, Roger, we will sort Desert Pine first. Fifty one. Ah, ah, ah. Um. Yeah, so we, it's really disappointing that it's not recognized here in Western Australia that there's a need for semi-automatic firearms for professional and primary producers, nor suppressors for anyone other than the government. So it's just mad that they don't, well, again, we've approached them with this footage and this data and they just do not want to accept it because it doesn't fit into their narrative that, you know, they're a tool they turn around and call it a hobby. Um, no, this is our work. Maybe being a politician is a hobby. I mean, shit, it probably is for some of them because they don't seem to do anything. So again, um, this is just us reaching out to you guys all over the world. Who, who do you know that has influence and ability to get the message out to a greater audience. You know, you guys are a pretty tight audience. You're, you're shooters, uh, you're people that are interested in pastoralism and the, the outback way, uh, not the highway that's not gonna get built for another decade, um, but the outback lifestyle. And um, people in the cities in Australia, and they just don't wanna know. For a lot of people, this is just somewhere that they fly in, fly out to a resort style mining camp get paid a bucket load of money and disappear. 
and don't care about the environment or the people that live here. So that's who we need to be able to get some influence with to swing the vote and start getting some sensible people in parliament, not oxygen deprived politicians. Because they never see the light of day. They're just a bunch of like moles that live underground in their little concrete bunkers because they're scared of the world and reality. Okay, enough of me bashing politicians. We're on our way and we're gonna go throw some baits out. Thanks.